Okay, I don't know what's going on outside. It literally sounds like I live in an airfield. There's like helicopters going on through the whole video. I can't even wait in between them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a in-depth review on Makeup Forever's face and body foundation. Now if you watched my Fashion Maven Mommy haul where I went to Namie's, Nigel's, and Makeup Forever, I purchased the face and body foundation from Makeup Forever and you guys were really interested in it so I thought I would do an in-depth review on the foundation since foundations I feel like are the hardest products to find that really fit you. A great thing about this foundation is the packaging. It is a very nice heavy duty luxurious packaging it's glass container and it comes with a pump which a lot of the times when you fall in love with a foundation it doesn't come with a pump so this one comes with a pump and at about forty dollars it definitely needs to come with a pump unlike the NARS sheer glow one it's so frustrating because you have to find a pump for it. Now what I really was drawn to it was that it is mostly water based with all pigmentation. So it's just water and pigmentation in the formulation and this can go on your face or your body. It literally is skin. It feels and looks like skin. And the great thing about this is I've been wearing it for three weeks now and I have not tried any other foundation. I keep putting off my first impression foundation videos for all these other foundations because I literally love this foundation so much to wear every day for any look I'm doing that I keep putting it off. So I have literally worn this every single day and I wake up in the morning looking forward to putting this on. It is the most natural flawless finish you're going to get in a foundation. It feels amazing and it wears amazing now I have normal to combination skin I get oily in my t-zone and I get dry patches on my chin in the winter time it's not greasy and there's no like oils or anything that's gonna make your skin greasy or weird and this is also good I think for oily skin because there are no oils I tried it with my hourglass primer which you guys know I love I didn't actually think it worked that well with this foundation which I've never encountered before I personally have been using my skin primer spray so it's just a primer spray that I spray all over now I wear the shade 32 now for those of you wondering in Mac I wear NC 25 or NC 30 it just it literally feels like you're applying water I like to use a beauty blender to apply it you can use your fingertips you can use a damp sponge I personally like a very natural flawless finish I don't mind some of my freckles showing through or some of my blemishes if I really want to cover blemishes I tend to go for concealers it just is better and that's it always ends up being better that way so that the rest of your face isn't fully packed on with makeup just to cover one blemish. This is going to be great for you if you are looking for a very your skin but better, a very natural finish. You can build this up. I use anywhere between three to four pumps because it is very liquidy. It's very much water based. It feels like water. It looks like water when you pump it out. If you're looking for a full coverage foundation, you can still build this up. This is going to cover anything you need to cover for your face. If you have major blemishes or scarring or anything you really want to cover, I still recommend using a heavy concealer. It's made for that, like their full coverage concealer for Makeup Forever or the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. Something like that. But this as a foundation for a natural skin finish is amazing. I love it. The color range is great. I like to set it with just a little bit of their HD Press Powder on my T-zone. I find that's all I need. I use a uh, oil blotting sheet throughout the day if I am really hot or oily. This has been great in humid weather for me because it is water-based. I don't feel like I'm sweating it off. It doesn't rub. It's not going to transfer onto something else. It's just a really great long-lasting, well finished foundation that I'm seriously obsessed with. I feel like I'm not being eloquent because I'm so excited about sharing this foundation with you guys. So. 
I really, really like it. Um, the other great thing about this is there is no SPF. So if you're looking for a foundation for any photography, any on-camera work, anything where there's going to be a flashback situation, this is perfect because this does not have any SPF whatsoever. It is purely pigment and water, which is great. It's so great for a makeup artist. It's so great for makeup. If you have any questions about this foundation that I didn't answer in this video, make sure you leave a comment in the comment boxes below and make sure you let me reply to them because I've been having some trouble where you guys leave me questions and I go to reply and I can't reply. So if you want me to answer, make sure you let the reply button um, is activated on your YouTube. I don't know why YouTube does that. So give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know if you like the more in-depth kind of reviews on foundations. I thought this would be nice since I literally have been wearing it non-stop for three weeks now and I feel like I... Um, it's like tested and tried and true or if you prefer first impressions I'll do both still on my channel, but I just like to get feedback from you guys Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I leave me a comment if there's anything you want to see on my channel in terms of reviews or first impressions Don't forget to check out the haul where I purchased this product and I will see you guys next time. Bye So give this video a big thumbs up if you like more in-depth video so give this video a big thumbs up if you like more in-depth